Okay, this video series is for patent plasma desalination and periodic elements reactor with power supply <clears throat> pursuant to copyright heterodyne linear magnetic resonant circuit with variable resistance aka hydro me circuit okay copyright and furtherance of patent david a puckta for 2023 during the patent application it's just an understated known that if you find a dangerous uh, aspect of the patent you should disclose it so this is a disclosure that we discovered that's patentable in the patent it's a necessary part of the patent here's the housing of the plasma reactor here's the top of the plasma reactor this is the condenser of the plasma reactor the essential component is this air pump you've got to pump air into the chamber if you don't pump air into the chamber once you lose the nitrogen and salt water the hydrogen and oxygen will react and it can explode so we're going to be as safe as possible today assembling this reactor and showing each step of the reactor we showed the build of the lovely fusion power supply in the last videos there's another circuit that's being built and machined right now that's the magnetic resonant circuit that's the essential part of the patent but today we're just going to do a test run without the essential component because we don't need it right now we're just testing fit and finish and all of the modifications that are being outlined in the patent for safety and patentability to make this package complete okay this complete concludes video number one safety okay next video will be explanation lane man explanation after we get the wiring and all of the fitment back together and this is typically a maintenance item and at the bottom of the reactor you can see the precipitant that is our periodic element production that's the second part of the patent we're going to clean that out today and start fresh with a new batch of water and a new precipitant because this precipitant is using a carbon electrode. The patentability of this is the carbon goes non-conductive after we've gone through the plasma process. Next, we're going to be using a graphite electrode. <clears throat> and part of the patent essential part of the patent using the graphite electrode is excuse me one moment is this we have a teflon sock over the graphite electrode Here's the graphite electrode and the assembly for the graphite electrode that we're going to be installing is the center electrode. This fusion power supply runs positive common. That is another patentable aspect essential to this patent, sir or madam, because we need to be able to control the positive, the negative potential because we do our plasma 
on the negative electrode. Most plasma is done on the positive electrode. We force it to the negative electrode. And these are the electrodes. Okay. These are the electrodes. They're going to be clean today during our maintenance video. That'll be video number three. Okay. Back to the Teflon sock, an essential part of the patent. We use Teflon membrane at 0.5 micron. Uh, 0.1 micron. I'm sorry, 0.1 micron. A 0.5, I'm sorry, it's a half a micron, a filter membrane. And then we sew it into a sock that will be zip tied um, to the electrode because what we're trying to accomplish is this is graphite. Graphite will go to graphene and the, the periodic element that we're after is graphene. So we need the electrode to stay together under the high voltage potential. And that's the essential part is the Teflon sock. And we have to use Teflon because the temperatures inside the reactor can get up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that concludes um, safety and basic explanation of what we're going to show you today. Thank you and stay tuned.